In this video, we're going to show you how to message, assign, and schedule activities in Seesaw to either a whole class or to individual students. Um, all teaching staff, special ed, speech pathologists, social workers can use the tools in this video. A reminder when you do these videos, tips for watching since it is a YouTube video. If you look at the bottom of the YouTube page, there is a little gear wheel on the bottom right hand. Go ahead and you can slow down the rate that you watch the video or speed it up depending on your need. And then don't forget, you can always watch on one device and then do the activity on the other one by pausing, playing, or replaying. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to our Seesaw class. Um, I'm going to start with the refresher from the first video. If you need to message if you use the inbox, this is the way to do only whole group messaging. So if I need to send an announcement to all of my students, or if I want to do family and students, I can go ahead into the inbox, send an announcement, choose the group that I want to be sending the message to, whether it's families, students, or families and students. Anything then that is typed in this area will be translated to the parent's um, native device language, whatever they have their phone or computer set to. And then if you hit the attachment, you can also send things in a method of a video. So if you need video instructions, um, you can do a little screencast or tutorial or attach files or websites that you need. The notes feature, because it involves typing, will also translate. That only works for parent devices, not for student. All right, so that handles messaging, but what if you want to message just an individual student? In order to do that, you just hit the Add button. You're going to post to student work, create whatever um, the video note link is that you need for kids. Maybe you just want to send them a little video saying hi, or you want to read them a book. Um, in the majority of these cases, I think I'd probably actually use the video feature, um, especially for kindergarten or for speech pathologists. You can then message all students, but in this case, I'm just going to send it to Brian. Um, so when I hit the check mark, it could also do folders. I could or add organization if I need to, but it's not necessary. And then it would post to just his journal. So you'll see individual messages, and that's where Seesaw always opens, is in the journal. So all individual messaging will happen here, and then they can reply to you, and you would see it in the journal underneath their name. Um, it would come back into your teacher journal. So that's one way to message. The next one is assigning. So with any of those, with assigning, we would be doing activities. So you hit the green button. I am going to then send other things all done through my activity library. So you can create a new activity, which will, I will do in a later video, or you can come here to the community library, which has every grade level, as you can see, more than what I need. So let's say I'm gonna go for a first grade level one. I can then choose my subject in the community library, which you will see we also have ELL. We have health, which I would also include within our PEA instruction. Um, there's a whole section just for home learning if you're really wondering, but we also have music, PE, art is obviously up there. Um, we have social emotional learning, special education, so you have a variety to choose from in this area. Um, once you choose one, if you decide to assign it, go ahead and you're going to hit the um, heart button. So I'm actually going to go to some of the home learning because I'm thinking that's an area many of you probably haven't visited before. But let's say I wanted to do this book on reading at home or The Magnificent Thing. I'm going to hit the heart button to like it first. That's going to put it into my library. If I want to see it, I tap on it. It will tell me everything that I need to do. Because I've hit the heart button, I can now assign it to my students if I liked it. And here's where you can do all or none or if you teach multiple classes or sections. So this would be for our specials teachers. Um, for our um, interventionists or um, other services that have variety of classes, not just homeroom, you can choose which class you want. So I could send this not just to my test pilot, but I could send it to a variety of classes. And then within those classes, this edit student portion, when I hit that, I can choose which students I want to send it to. So if I only want to send it to one, or if I am looking for... Um, 
the fact that in this class I want to send it to one, but then I know in third grade I've got a different one and I only want that one to go to then Krista. Krista, please ignore this. In the case, I'm just going to keep um, bombarding Brian. He'll be fine with that. But I can choose from each grade level or class over here, and then I can choose specific students. So although I have one assignment, um, I can assign that to a variety of classes and students. So you can get very fine grain here. Um, the next and last thing that I'm going to talk about is scheduling. So I figured out what I want to do. Now I want to schedule. It can go out immediately, but then we would bombard students while we were planning. So instead, I'm going to assign it on a specific date. So I know that I want this to go out Thursday, or maybe this is going to be my Friday activity, and I can even set the time that I want students to be able to see it, because maybe I'm going to do, you know, my circle reading time at 9 o'clock, and I want them to see that, and then afterwards I'm going to let them see this book activity. Now that I've given it a time, that is when it's going to be sent out, and I would be able to see that in any of my classes. So there it is. Um, and because in the case of my test class, because I had student activities, I'm going to find it underneath the activity tab. That's not where I put it. I have too many classes. Um, you would be able to find them there. So ignore the person behind the curtain who's jumping around everywhere. Um, so again, go to the add button, find the activity that you want. We also have the school and district library. This is going to keep getting larger as we go, where you can look for what other teachers are doing within the district. Um, you can search here for keywords if there's things that you're wanting to do. Um, but in this case, I'm going to show you one more time. I have this activity. When I want to assign it, I am going to choose the class or classes that I want it to go to. I am going to choose the student or students that I want it to go to. So instead, I'm just going to send it, right? I'm actually going to do my whole class. And now I'm going to schedule it, right, to go out at a certain time. Um, the reason why I was not seeing it in there is because I did not do it as an immediate assignment. So again, remember here, I said set it at a specific date and time. So let's say instead I want it to be today, but not until almost 3 o'clock. As a teacher, when I go to see it, I'm not going to see it. The students aren't going to see it in their activities, right? Because here's my assigned to class. You now have a scheduled area. So if I want to see things that are going to be coming up because I scheduled them, it's going to be under this tab, as opposed to you are not going to see it where you normally see it, which is everything I've already assigned to students. Okay, so those are the things that you need to know. Um, I hope that was helpful, and there will be more videos coming your way.